it's Rob. Welcome to Axel's Garage. We're back down here because it's rainy day and we're working on Uncle Sam's slicer and we're on the home stretch. The, the problem is the weather's been good so I've been doing a lot of outside projects and saving the rest of this for an inside project <clears throat> and I kind of forget where I was. But I believe my next step is going to be putting this guy on here. Now I'm not going to put the shift in yet because I want to get this um, sitting where it's supposed to be sitting now this this piece goes on it slides into this slot like this and then it's got a thumb screw that holds it in place so one of these I don't know if it's the small one or the big one I'm not sure but it's going to hold it in place, but there is a set screw adjustment for this to be up and down because you don't want it, you know, rubbing against this part here and you don't want it too high so that your your meat or whatever, your cheese, whatever you're slicing kind of falls in between this this groove here. So let me uh, pull this back out, lay it down. Now this piece is uh, steel porcelain coated as well and it cleaned up pretty good. The back side we removed. We um, got it down in bare metal, put some uh, rust encapsulating paint on it, and then painted it with black enamel. We did use some current screws because because there was some screws missing as we were doing this. There was there was some oddball screws in there; and they didn't all match because they weren't all original. We used the screws from here to replace those screws because these screws really aren't going to be seen, and these are the only place where there are newest screws on it just let it look nice. I didn't realize we were going to get into such a restoration on it. But in the meantime I gotta find my uh, set screw for this guy here. Oh it's in place. I, I, put, I must have put it in. And I realized so the set screws in there um, I'm gonna back it out a little bit because I need this to sit a little higher. So I'm gonna back it out a little bit. On a little bit. And I'm gonna slide this in place and that set screw is still got to bring it up higher. So let me oh, that screwdriver is too fat. You really you need a really thin bladed screwdriver to bring that set screw up. Now I would assume there's a specification for the distance. I don't know what that specification is or even what it would be. Um, but I'm a little high now. And the key to this is, it, the only way to really tell how far it is away is you do have to snug it up here. Because when you snug it up, it will pull it to the right amount. Now I am, let's see if we could measure how much off I am. I'm about a quarter of an inch, a little 0.26 of an inch. So I'm a little higher than a quarter of an inch. I think I can go down a little bit lower. Let me move the camera and show you what I mean. Okay, the gap that we're trying to adjust is, is this gap right in here. And it's also the same as this gap along this line where it's going to slide. You can see the gap right here. And I guess you'd want it as tight as you can get it, but not tight enough where it's going to make anything bind. So this seems, I measured at this corner about a quarter of an inch. It looks like it's a little tighter down there. But I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. So now I'm counting turns on that set screw, and that one was a full turn. Tighten, and that seems to oh, have really brought me down on the bottom. So let me make sure this thing is good and tight, and I'll show you what I mean. See if you like it. Okay, so right here 
it is tight. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's almost like a sixteenth of an inch, and then up here, maybe I got like three eighths of an inch, but it's real tight here, and that's got to go all the way across to here. That looks real tight. That does look real, real tight as far as clearances go, so I'm going to leave it there because let me move this back just a little for you. So up here, it's about mm, less than a quarter. Let me see if my calipers will even measure that. It is measuring at this end. Right here, it's measuring 0.16. So let's see if this fits in there, which is about the thickness of the end of my caliper. So that's just fitting in there. And then over here, it's about half of it. So I think we're good on our gap. So I like that where that is. So I'm going to leave this set through there. All right, so I was talking to the camera and there was nobody there because I didn't have record. So I have these two set screws that have pointy ends on them. Those are the only two set screws left. I screwed them into the to the sides of the um, the knob, and I'll slide the knob on all the way. Now there's a couple things going on. Once you snug these set screws up, you're going to move this base here. Now, there's no spacer or washer that goes on the shaft that keeps it away from the, I wonder if I could, eh, probably not. So you just got to keep it a hair off of the base so that you're not rubbing the whole thing on the slicer itself. Alright, so that it operates smoothly. Now, we need to come up with zero. So we're going to need a straight edge on the blade. And I, I guess I could use, probably use this um, speed square and put it up here on the blade so that I could come to zero, which would be right there. So that's zero. Don't worry about this. This this is irrelevant at this point. Because we're adjusting here. We want to adjust the zero. So we want it to be a little bit south of zero. And I still have to put the pointer in. So let me get the pointer and then we'll adjust the zero. And then we can turn this knob on the shaft by loosening the set screws to come up with the, the actual zero. Because we want it to go to zero or maybe a little less of zero so that when we're at zero it's even and as soon as we move it this is moving because on each end of the, the turn is a little bit of turn where it's not actually moving the gear, that's slopping the gear back and forth. Alright, so I got my indicator that we used a little red. Oh, it's still a little tacky. Used a little red nail polish on. That's zero. Right there. I turn this down and get to the screwdriver. So that's zero. So if I go just a hair, right past zero. Zero. That's exactly zero. So let me just go a little past zero. I'll go right to that line. So it was just a smidge. And then I can take this set screw and run it down. 
All right, so then this bone is zero, and then I can go a little bit past zero. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting this on the platform, right, and I'm looking right here to see how much that blade is below the platform when I'm at zero. And it's like a sixteenth of an inch, so I think I'm pretty good there. So I like this at the zero, I like this at the zero, and as soon as I start moving it, so now what I'm thinking is I could loosen these set screws. Alright, let me turn this. Loosen a little more. Turn this so that this is maybe just off zero, just a hair behind zero. So I'll make sure that these are snug down so that they dimple the um, they dimple the uh, the shaft a little bit. All right, and. We're locking it up at 19. 19, it's safe. The blade's not sticking up. And zero is about dead even on the blade. So I'm at zero there. So at zero, I put the straight edge across. And pretty much dead even on the blade yep so that's past it it's about zero zero boom and then as soon as I move it past zero I'm show I'm revealing the blade okay Bye.